So, you know, there I, I'm online because the brewer, he spent a lot of time online. And uh, his friend Gimper tells him, hey, you took two minutes to tie a rockworm. What the hell is your problem? And I said, hey, Gimper, you know, just, I understand you ain't been out of the house in a while, but, you know, as soon as I can get on my bike and get up there, I'll, I'll come and, and we'll go fishing. So, this is for him, so to speed up a little bit, we're going to tie a compare done. Now, now did that Davy fella on, on the YouTube, the Davy fella, Davy McPhail, fella, that's him. He ties his compare duns with some CDC in them, and so I am not so much going to take inspiration from Davy as I am just going to blatantly copy him. Now, so that's good. You know, the one thing about that fella on, that, on the YouTube there is... Boy, I wish he had English subtitles because I don't understand a thing he's saying. No, I don't know what exactly he's speaking, but English, well, that would be nice. So anyway, there we go. We got a nice little tapered body there. See, taking our time. Now we're going to cinch that down a hair just a little bit here and there. And then we're going to take a couple CDC feathers. Yep, fetters. I said fetters. That's what we're getting. These come right off the butt of a mallard duck. Mm -hmm. When they say, is a duck's ass watertight? Well, yes, it is. And it's because of these fetters right here that it is. Now, you know, I always think maybe a guy should just take those and push them back forward. I've done it before. It works. In this instance, though, we're going to cut them off because... We got another plan. So, there. At this point, this is when Davey, he goes, All right, well, now I'm going to use some microfibits. But I think microfibits look kind of stupid. So, instead, I'm just going to take a little more coastal deer hair here and clean it up because there's some fuzz and shit. And that, that fuzz, that catches the water something mean. You don't need very many, you know. They don't got to all be the same length. This is a tail, for Christ's sakes. It's mostly for the indent on the water. Oh, there we got there about the right size there. So we'll give her a give her a one ski and a two ski and a tree, and then we'll give her an under. Hey, yeah, what do you think about that? And then uh, then we'll do these. So Davey, if you're watching this, my suggestions for you are um, keep tying because damn, you're good, and be uh, English subtitles. So thanks. Anyway, I'm gonna tie these down. So make. Got a good body worked out here. Now, what I'm going to do now, instead of bothering with a, with a dubbed body or some other shit, what I'm going to do is take another CDC feather and tie this in just like I was going to tie CDC and elk. So, I'm going to tie the tip in one, two, come forward with it. This gives me a nice gray body. To tell you the truth, I think that gray works pretty good. I'm going to use a little hackle pliers here because... I'm a klutz. Yep, you heard me. Ruler, klutz. So I'll give her a rap ski and a rap ski. Here we go. That's looking pretty nice. And then uh, we'll get to about here. Mm hmm. We dump her off. What do you think? You don't even got to trim that because that'll just stand upright with the feathers. Do need a little dub here, because otherwise the underside of the body looks stupid, see? So we'll take a little light green dub, or yellow, something something got a good contrast with. I like this light green. I think it makes allows me to fish this for a couple of different patterns. Go one, two, true there. One, two, true there. And one, two, true to front. And then we'll just tie her off quick, eh? What do you think? You're looking at that going, Bruder, that fly, she looks like a shit show. And, you know, she is. But the thing about the shit show flies is the fish don't see a lot of them what look like that. And uh, I think sometimes that helps. So anyway, if you think it looks like shit, then just piss off. I don't need your comments anyway. You don't got to come visit, uh, you know, Brule River Blogspot at uh, .com. You know, you really don't. So... Anyway, here you go. I hope that was faster. Four fifty under five minutes. My, you know, the, the clock says there. So, not bad for compared on fits and the rules. We'll see you later.